Uh, so first of all, let's try going over the IBO. Um, so starting with the paper one, where you'll be going through uh, the passage analysis as well as, well as the uh, poetry analysis as well. So for paper one, you'll be given the choice to go over either the passage or the poem. And uh, so let's take a look at uh, the uh, sample paper that IBU has provided for us, um, starting with the first uh, passage with the uh, the buyers walk the line of her tobacco, my mom tightens her clutch, she whispers, here they come. Um, before we even take a look at the passage, let's take a look at what the rubric would be uh, telling us to uh, analyze an, an adequate to good literary commentary will grasp the basic situation of the tobacco selling, buying in the comic situation of the passage, note the anticipation, intention of the various members of the family, identify the particular attitudes of the mother, father, and the narrative voice in relation to each other in the situation. Follow the implications of the use of the ticket in the transactions, understand the conclusion of the morning's event. In an excellent literary commentary, right, uh, would uh, address the additional factors such as gestures or words of each character, so I'd be able to tell the nuances and the details of the passage with the uh, techniques of characterization and um, noticing uh, elements like adjectives and adverbs, uh, delineating the content and con uh, tone of the passage, and then um, the alternating attention of the narrator to each of the parents and their own interactions, and also explore the way how language is being used. Um, so well, let's take a look at the passage. Having that in mind, let's return back to the passage and uh, read over the passage, what the uh, passage would be about. Uh, it's a passage where uh, the family is out in the market, right, trying to sell the tobacco leaves that they had been raising for the year, and they would be trying to make the transaction, right, with the buyers coming to uh, buy their tobacco leaves, and they will be competing uh, with the against the other farmers, probably, uh, with the, uh, 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 in the market, and the family will be in a situation where they would have to be selling the tobacco leaves, the mother will be asking the children to pretend like they are hungry. The father would be uh, acting nonchalant or uh, acting as if he doesn't care. But of course, he would be trying to uh, 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 make sure that the transaction would succeed, right? For the family to uh, for the family to uh, make a living, uh, make a living, and also the mother will be able to return her rings or uh, to retrieve her rings if she if they were to be able to sell their uh, tobacco leaves for the for the day. Uh, and so uh, let's first take a look at some of the literary devices like um, the mother would be tightening her clutch, right? The T sounds and also the uh, the diction as well. They add they uh, help add uh, tension or uh, attention to the anxiety to the scene. And then she would be whispering, here they come. And uh, that nonchalantly stands or resting on one leg like a horse at rest, being that uh, he might be acting like he is a blase or uh, not uh, so caring about what, what will be the, re uh, the result of the transaction. Uh, and uh, again, uh, there are uh, uh, repeated instances where um, they, the people in the market are likened to uh, different types of animals, right? The, that, uh, being compared to a horse, right, uh, at rest, right, um, in the, uh, uh, using the simile, and also the buyers are like the blend species of birds on an otherwise more exciting safari, and so the idea that they are being likened to animals are, uh, suggests that they are, uh, perhaps to show the commotion or the action within the market itself, and then, um, the uh, the mother also hisses, right, uh, uh, hinting us at the imagery of a snake, right, the sound that the, uh, the onomatopoeia sound that the snake would be making, and also adds anxiety and tension throughout the scene as well. Try and look hungry, kids. And then the kids would be trying to uh, uh, 
stuck in their belly and opening their eyes to look hollow and needy and they'll sink their uh, heads to their chest and shrink right not wanting to be there the hyphenated words like not wanting to be there and then also later on uh the uh wishing we weren't here in line number 32 or right? these hyphenated words would be probably to emphasize the extent to which they would not be wanting to be seen or to be present in the marketplace and then the mom would be having a fierce, fixed, terrifying smile. The F alliteration again would be showing the uh, the extent to which they're focused, right? Really uh, zoned into uh, 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 the, the transaction and also the intensity of the scene as well. And then give us a good price, right? And then... Um, they would, uh, and then the mom would be, please give us a good price, please, right? The idea that there are a lot of uh, anxious, uh, anxiety or tension within the scene, again, is being mentioned, uh, emphasized, and then the belly churning with, with two greasy excess of my of uh, their recent breakfast, and so the idea that uh, they are feeling uneasy or, or anxious, right, uh, with the intensity of the scene is again being emphasized here. And they are so absorbed into the scene that none of it, none of them would be looking at the other father, uh, other farmers and their families who are also hovering with uh, palpably jittering nerves on their bales. And so the idea again that uh, they are feeling sort of uh, nervous and that uh, their jittering nerves where it would be helping to accentuate the extent to which they are uh, and uh, they are uh, feeling sort of uh, 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 anxious and therefore uh, adding right tension and anxiety suspense to the scene as well and then the bales are torn open leaves are pulled up and smell the thin uh, vein crop is uh, rubbed between thick fingers and so the idea that the s sounds right uh in bales leaves right smelled um and uh, uh the r sounds like rubbed um uh and uh Later on, also as uh, in line number twenty-five, re-wrapped, loaded, uh, loaded into lorries, right? The bales, right? So the L, R sounds and the S sounds, they help us uh, emphasize the uh, or help uh, illustrate the rust bustling sound, the rustling sound of the of the leaves themselves and also adding texture to these leaves as well and then the price is scrolled on a ticket notice how this would be a passive voice rather than an active voice right? rather than the uh, buyer or the seller sort of writing uh, scrolling the uh, price on the ticket a price is scrolled maybe also adding the extent to which they don't have a lot of control or autonomy over the uh, transaction itself right uh, by using passive instead of active voice and then the dad will wait until the buyers are out of earshot and then it whispers to the uh, mom in a soft warning voice that he hold it in the way he would be talking to a fretful animal again right the animal imagery is being uh, mentioned to uh, emphasize the extent to which uh, the commotion or the motion in the marketplace and the bustling nature and the lack of maybe order or the chaotic sort of feeling that uh, maybe the marketplace might be uh, emanating and then uh, Vanessa and I watch that hand he, as he walks the line, right? He agrees with the price, and if not, um, right? Uh, if they were to have agreed on the price, then they would be able to sell the uh, the tobacco. But if not, uh, they would be uh, they uh, the they uh, and they would be taken to cigarette factories. But then if not, then they probably would have to take it back to their lucky farm and then uh, return uh, again right for another day. And so uh, let's see uh, what would be the uh, the conclusion or the ending of the of this uh, transaction or uh, the mark the day at the market. And uh, if the uh, father were to uh, disagree with the price the buyer has offered, then he will tear the ticket right, uh, uh, showing the uh, intensity as well. Again. Um, and then uh, as we have uh, taken a look at before the bales, right, the R and the L sounds, very soft, and then uh, even further, right, soft, uh, the fine balance between soft and moldy, right, uh, these L sounds, R sounds, uh, soft sound, uh, S sounds, the soft sounds help illustrate the texture of the bales, that tobacco leaf that they have grown and they are selling at the market. And then, um, uh, again, the sticky yellowing residue, right, resorting and rebaling, right, the idea that uh, they are softly or uh, 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 or tenderly uh, tending to the the leaves of the uh, the tobacco leaves and 
continue on to uh, show how they acquired wishing we weren't here the hyphenated words being uh, emphasized here once again and the tickets are pretty pristine beautiful whole rectangles of yellow uh, uh, they, again uh, the color yellow and also uh, the pristine beautiful sort of a uh, way uh, the, the adjectives that are being used in order to describe the ticket again adding uh, a bit of uh, texture to the mm, uh, to the transaction itself right the flow of the transaction sort of being uh being sort of uh, 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 sort of smoothened out, right? Uh, 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 such types of right adjectives are being used, right, in order to show how the transaction may, might be sort of uh, taking place and uh, at this moment. And uh, the children would be uh, crying out like ex uh, exuberantly and loud, and the mom would be trying to be uh, to uh, to. Uh, uh, to quiet them down and uh, telling them to behave themselves and then again uh, the pair uh, the family isn't looking at the other farmers right uh, in uh, line number 35 again right they are really zoned into their own transaction and will be trying not to look at the other competitors as they are making about the uh, the transaction and then uh, Van uh, the Vanessa and I fall into line behind mom and dad in line number 37, uh, right? Uh, it shows to the extent to which the family is sort of moving as a, a whole unit or one unit. And then his, fam uh, his fingers, the dad's fingers, are wrapped around hers, right? The teamwork that they are, being, they are showing, right, as they are moving about in a single unit uh, as a, a whole family. And then they are able to, after selling the tobacco, they are able to get the rings back and they are able to uh, tarnish, uh, the, remove the tarnish tarnish of shame and disuse, right? The idea that uh, the rings might be uh, might be symbolizing uh, the 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 wealth or the state of their family, and then the uh, the ring is uh, used to symbolize or used as a motif to symbolize the uh, the the status of the people, the wealth of the people, and then it would be tarnished of uh, removing the the tarnish of shame and disuse would be removed, uh, which would symbolize sort of like the triumph of the uh, of the uh, of the family as well right that that doesn't smile or concede any type of victory in front of the buyers but then when they get into the car they will um acknowledge right the the uh, the success of the transaction uh by uh, the father saying right fair price uh, as a sort of nonchalant way to uh to uh to uh, to of his way to celebrate victory of the transaction